Um, so I'm Melody. Um, thank you for attending um, this presentation. Um, so I'll go straight to the question uh, of interest here. How do mothers and fathers talk about parenting uh, to different audiences? Uh, no. Uh, theories suggest that um, gender, uh, through gender stereotypes, uh, but also audience uh, through the social identity performance, have an influence on um, individuals' behaviors. So first about um, stereotypes. Stereotypes are generalizations, are beliefs about the shared attributes of social groups. And in this case for uh, gender, they would assign specific characteristics to each gender, uh, which, would, which will become standards to which uh, gender should, con sorry, individuals should conform uh, to be positively seen by society. Um, so they assign communal characteristic to women, such as selflessness and care, uh, while they assign agentic characteristics to men, such as motivation to master and assertiveness. These two sets of characteristics are linked to a field of expertise for uh, women and men. For women, this field would be family, and for men, it would be work. Um, in the present study, uh, we analyzed gender stereotypes in discussions about parenting by mothers and fathers on Reddit. We're interested in um, how are gender stereotypes appearing in uh, real world interactions. The other aspect is the audience. Um, social identity performance is an interesting theory which has um, explained that an audience, a present visible audience will activate a specific social identity, that's the social identity salience, and this will in turn lead to identity relevant behaviors or stereotypical behaviors, usually self stereotypes, so that's the way the group um, assign characteristics to themselves. Um, yeah, so if I I am, I am in front of an audience that is relevant for one of the social identities I, in, I, identif I, I, ah, I in, identify with, um, then this audience would um, influence my behavior and would lead me towards uh, more prototypical behaviors uh, coherent with the self-stereotypes. There is also another phenomenon linked to this. Um, it's the identity threat. The identity threat is when uh, an individual really wants to be part of a group. So they want to belong, but they are not considered legitimate members of that group. So, um, so yeah, so they really want the, the other members to, to accept them as, as uh, members of the group. And that would lead to overconformism. So that just means that they would uh, behave even more um, intensely, those um, stereotypical behaviors, so that other group members uh, accept them. In the present study, uh, we would we will study audience uh, through subreddits in Reddit. So we would use subreddits as a proxy for uh, audience, and we will um, explore the, the the impact of gender. So single versus make, mixed gender uh, subreddits. So whether uh, there's the subreddit is only for one gender or for two gender, as uh, research indicated that um, there is a different uh, impact of, of this uh, audiences. Uh, we have several expectations. Um, so first the social identity salience would uh, maybe lead to gender stereotypical behaviors. Then uh, we also expect some audience effects. So different uh, behaviors uh, in single gender subreddits compared to mixed gender subreddits. And finally, uh, yeah, because we're studying uh, parents, mothers and fathers, and fathers are not considered um, a primary, the primary caregiver in the family sphere. They're considered secondary caregiver, but here they really want to be, because they're talking in, in parenting subreddits, so they want to be legitimate parents. So we also hypothesize that um, 
this could lead to overconformism. Uh, about the data collection, so we focused on three, uh, the most um, popular uh, parenting subreddits, which are uh, Momit, Parenting, and Deadit. Parenting is a mixed gender subreddit. Momit is a mother-centric subreddit, and Deadit is a father-centric subreddit. So um, the way we define this is that uh, in each subreddit, there is a description, a description uh, section where there are some rules of participation and they clearly indicate that uh, the subreddit is only for mothers, only for fathers, only for parents. So this is the way we, um, we conclude that uh, there are mothers or fathers. Uh, so you have the number of comments, so posted in 2020. Um, yeah, so then what we did is that because we want to analyze the change within individuals between two different contexts, uh, we took only the users that we call mothers, so on the users who had published on Momit, and on parenting. So we're not considering the ones who have only published on Momit, or only on parenting. And we do the same for fathers. Uh, you also have the number of comments. Uh, yeah, so again, only users who have published both on a mixed gender subreddit and a single gender subreddit. Uh, for analyzing the data, we used LDA topic modeling, uh, which is, uh, you probably know, but yeah, it's a natural language processing technique which um, takes as an input uh, corpus with documents and outputs um, to distribution, a distribution of topics in each document and a distribution of words in each topic. Um, so we use coherent scores uh, to get the right number of topics for our data sets. And um, this resulted in 12 topics um, ranging from medical care to food to uh, birth, pregnancy, school teaching, sleep training. I'll detail um, two of these topics in the next slides. So just we know a bit more about the process. So uh, the output would be, so this is our label, sleep training, but the output of the topic model would be a set of keywords. These are the te top 10 keywords. Um, so night, bed, sleep, this is a bit straightforward because um, we can understand uh, quite directly that this is about sleeping. Um, and then we can also look at the, the most associated uh, comments um, that we've collected and again uh, we can um, yeah we noticed the, the keywords that are linked to uh, sleep training and this is the way we um, label this topic. Um, another example a bit less straightforward so again this is the label we uh, gave but this are the set of keywords we actually have at the end of the after running the topic model. Uh, so home, family, work, house, it's a bit more difficult, but then again, looking at the, the comments mostly associated, uh, the most associated with, um, with the topic helps, sorry, helps to uh, have an idea of uh, what is the, the actual uh, topic of uh, this topic, the team, what is it about? So again, raising a kid after work, uh, personal time so you uh, understand that it's uh, about finding the right balance between uh, raising children and work. Okay, um, so then what we did is that we used this topic model and we calculated the relative uh, frequency of topics in mothers and fathers comments. So again, we divided um, the group the, the sorry the data set into four groups these are these fathers are the same fathers um, either publishing in um, deadit or in parenting and same for mothers in momit and in parenting and here on the horizontal sorry axis you have um, the different topics and on the vertical axis you have the you have the average relative frequency of top of each topic uh, 
within uh, each group of comments. Our main findings uh, indicate that uh, uh, mothers talk, discuss the most uh, children's basic needs, such as sleep training. Here you see the purple and pink dots are, are above the green dots, food and medical care. So that's uh, unfortunately uh, coherent with uh, gender stereotypes because uh, they're assigned to be the, um, they're expected to be the primary caregiver and they confirm a bit this uh, stereotype. Then um, fathers, so fathers, it's a bit more contextual um, apparently. So fathers in the single gender subreddit, that it, they discuss more um, birth pregnancy announcement. Birth pregnancy announcement is uh, mostly about uh, congratulating each other uh, regarding uh, birth or pregnancies and yeah, and being pr proud of being um, like finally being a father and things like this. And, and then uh, physical appearance is about posting pictures and commenting each other's pictures and how cute their children are and how um, beautiful they are. Yeah, and so this is again, the bit coherent with gender stereotypes because, um, um, so because this first is a bit a superficial aspect of uh, having children, because it's not about the practical side, but really about uh, the fact of having children. So being recognized as a father rather than actually being a parent, um, like practically being yeah in practice of a, a father. Um, yeah, and also presenting a bit a trophy like uh, image of the of the child being like, oh, I'm so proud of of my my child my child. And finally, in the in the parenting subreddit, so here there are the light dots, uh, green and pink. So both mothers and fathers discuss more uh, the topic education, family advice. Oh. But um, fathers uh, are the ones discussing it the most. And this can be first without of uh, over conformism because they're with other parents. So we thought, OK, maybe they um, so they want to express even more um, their uh, parenting identity to show that they are good parents. But then because the topic looking a bit uh, deeper in this topic, the topic is about giving advice and telling uh, others like, oh, I think you should do this in this situation. I, I would do this. I So it's really an agency. Uh, there's an agency aspect of um, agentic aspect of um, having control. And yeah, so this can be also linked to the stereotypes. Uh, uh, some limitations. Uh, first, obviously, Reddit parents are not every parent. So um, we don't know yet with this study that uh, what we found here is actually uh, what every... Uh, so first, we don't know if this is offline behaviors too, or if it's just online. And then we Reddit is also a specific platform. So other platforms can have different results and also parents uh, offline can have also different behaviors. Then our data set is a bit limited because we selected only parents who had published on both, for example, mothers, both on momit and parenting, but we didn't consider um, we didn't consider the mod the mothers or the users who had only published on momit or only published on on dadit and uh, or only published on parenting. Sorry, and then uh, and this. Um, maybe these parents like express totally different topics or are more balanced in the way they um, discuss topics because they don't select the, the subreddit in which they will publish the topic, uh, the, the comment. And finally, the inference process. Uh, I think it's important to highlight that although topic modeling is a quantitative technique, the, what I showed you about labeling topics is completely qualitative. So, um, there's there can be bias involved there. 
Uh, as a takeaway message, uh, gender, gender differences and stereotypical behavior seem to appear in our uh, results. So uh, the main thing is the practical sides of uh, parenting seem to be uh, mostly the concern of mothers in any uh, subreddit. So yeah, regardless of the subreddit, mothers are the ones uh, discussing them the most. And uh, final point, um, we also noticed an audience effect, so a difference between single and mixed gender audiences, and uh, especially with fathers um, changing behaviors between that it and parenting. Yes, that's it. Thank you very much for listening. And uh, if you have any question, uh, let me know. Thank you, Melody. Thank you a lot for the presentation. Okay, before going down with the questions, so my question, I will go, I will say, check first if someone in the audience want to ask you something. Um, okay, okay, so I, I, I will definitely, okay, I have a, like, thank you for the nice presentation, I guess. The, the topic is kind of uh, interesting, uh, kind of tricky, right? Because this conversation about, like, I mean, it's falls in the middle. I, I was wondering, actually, if you if you, like, if you notice that there was some some users at the intersection of the, the two communities i mean it's kind of kind of tricky right? but in reddit i mean you can actually the, these subreddits are not are, they are not defined in silos i mean i can actually as a user i can contribute to any of them right? so i was wondering if to because at the end it's true like your it's, it's kind of stereotypes are there is a huge part of the analysis i wonder if exactly some users were was kind of mm -hmm. joining the both communities or you found any, any interesting behavior to track? Yeah, so that would be, that's also what we're exploring a bit further because right now, as you, you're saying, these are averages. So we don't really have the, the behaviors of, of one individual, one user and how they interact. We have a bit the average and the average is also a lot uh, biased with outliers, with, with users publishing a lot so yeah the the next uh what we're doing now is more focused about the particular uh yeah individuals and and because right now it's still yeah aggregation and and we don't yeah, see yeah. no individual difference i mean we see yeah kind of individual differences but still averaged uh within a group so yeah but that it's makes sense very interesting and i agree that yeah it would be interesting to see like the counter uh, stereotypical users and yeah how they and interact so thank yeah. you thank you a lot